So he has to fight for his place. And um, he has the abilities to be top top class centre back. He, uh, he is the best for England. So why shouldn't he be the best for us? But he has to prove it. And and yeah, when he is not confident enough to go in that fight, yeah, then he has to go. Uh, then he has to make the decision. But I'm happy with him. You need um, so high level players also uh, who are not maybe not now starting but that can change so there is an internal competition and everyone has to fight for his place okay uh, it seems we uh, are destined to speak about harry Maguire and his future and until something is sorted out one way or the other sue does he simply have to leave I think sometimes you know, don't you, when you're at a club and there's other players ahead of you, you're not playing, maybe you're, you're performing in training, you're doing all that you can when you come into a side. You're obviously, you're trying your best. Maybe your confidence is down a little bit because your performances haven't been there because you're not getting picked from the manager. Sometimes you just need a fresh change and you just need to, to go and play your football and enjoy your football again because it just looks like at the moment he's he's down the pecking order i think when you see luke shaw going into center half maybe in front of you that's when you think as a player i need to go somewhere else i need to go where i'm going to play football and, and start performing at the levels i know i can as a footballer the, the fact that the euros are next summer yeah how yeah. significant is that because he's got two years left on his contract he, he could think right okay i'll sit here for two years pick up the money and then i'll get a move but the euros is that a hugely significant thing on his it mind? It should be. It should be in, in the forefront of his mind. I think there will be an element of, well, I'm still making the squads anyway, and I've got the trust of the England manager, even if I'm not starting at Manchester United. Um, but I think there's an element from, from Harry Maguire as well where he's probably thinking to himself, I'm desperate to make this work. I don't want to... Yeah for it not to work at Manchester United. So I'm going to give myself every fighting chance of, of playing. However, on the flip side of things, I think he's the crowd have been difficult with him at times and they're losing a little bit of faith in him. That's relaying onto the pitch then. Then you can see that confidence in Maguire slowly getting pulled out of him at game after game. I, I feel really sorry for him at the moment because all, like a lot of players go through that from the career. I suffered that in my career where... I couldn't get out of that rut and I found it very difficult. And you just go, do you know what? Maybe the change of environment will change that. Maybe the manager who wants me, who is willing to give me that opportunity, believes in me, that can change your mindset straight away. Suddenly he walks into a changing room and David Moyes goes, come on, you're going to play first team football here. I, I like you. You're, you're a good defender. Let's get, get you back to where you were. I'll get you in that England team next year. Make sure that you're playing. Suddenly you feel 10 foot tall and you're thinking, oh, I am a player. It is there. Now, I know Ten Hag's saying the right thing, saying I want him to fight for his place and there's a place for him in the squad. Well, in the squad's not enough, is it? I want, the, I want my place in the team. I want to know that I'm going to be playing week in, week out, if my levels are right, that he's going to back me as a manager. I don't think that's there at the moment. And plus, if, if we believe what we, we hear, they've accepted a bid. If you wanted them to stay, you don't accept a bid.